becoming more and more difficult to find these applications to make these videos for you guys so i would highly recommend clicking on that like button and subscribing to the channel for more videos like this with that said what is up guys anubhav here welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel today we are once again checking out five top android applications that are not on the play store but are ones that are still regardless worth your time with that said let's get started The first application on the list goes by the name of Tap Tap and just like this app suggests the application lets you have double tap and triple tap gestures on the back of your android device meaning if you do a double tap on the back of your android device i have set it to lock my home screen and this happens seamlessly without root without anything you can download the application from the link in the description below don't worry it's completely safe and once you install the application provided with all of the accessibility settings that it needs to access that feature what you can do is set double tap and triple tap action for example if you go to double tap action hit on add action you'll have four categories launch utilities actions and advanced over here you can select whatever it is that you want from this list for example let's say if we go to advanced you can click on the hamburger menu add advanced gestures but just for a demonstration let's select utilities and hit on flashlight once we hit on flashlight you will allow the app to take pictures and to record video and you can also assign the layout for example if you want the first thing to be flashlight we can simply go ahead and move it to the top once that is done let's check it out double tap and there you go the flashlight of the phone is on that is how simple it is you can do the same with the triple tap option it's really really intuitive super easy this is something that apple introduced in ios 14 and it happens on the brand new iphone 12 series but well android users have always had the edge when it comes to third party features we can do this by simply installing a new application on our old phones check it out link in the description below with that said at number 2 we have an application called auto dark and what i really really enjoy about using an iphone is the fact that there is a dark mode automatic feature which basically means that whenever your phone uh, you know has the time cycle and it's daytime the phone you know cycles between daytime and then whenever it is nighttime the phone's theme changes into dark mode now modern android phones in fact the one that i'm using the OnePlus 8 has this automatic feature but in case your phone does not this application called auto dark is something that you can use to trigger basically the same feature the phone is going to make sure you add a start time and an end time and it turns on from sunset to sun sunrise or you can also set a different customizable start and end time now you can also force dark mode if you have root access but to turn it on you do have to perform and grant a permission through adb by connecting the phone to your computer and sending a code through it however there are a lot of other methods if you have root access you can grant through root and if you also have shizuku installed you can grant permission directly now the easiest out of the bunch and the most hassle free is obviously the adb one there's a full guide here that you can click and you can grant permission to it it's super simple and then you're more than happy to set your own dark mode and light mode intervals and have an entire schedule based on your time super cool super easy definitely check it out next up guys we have an application which goes by the name of tracker control this is an open source app from the guys over at fdroid you can download it from the link in the description below but this i think should be a stock application on all phones from now on tracker control is basically an app that allows you to monitor and control the widespread and ongoing data collection and the information that applications send to other companies throughout the world it also educates you on the online laws that you have with regards to your data and you can monitor basically all the applications that send data from your phone to different companies so the way the application works is through using a vpn service to keep things secure once you open up the application turn it on so once you turn it on of course you'll have to provide it internet access the monitor access and essential access and what it's going to basically do is show you a lot of your data and you can also manage your data you can limit the personalization because android offers you to limit app service according to google's advertising id and you can also manage your data now if you're in europe the eu you know data protection regulation allows people from europe to manage any data related to them and the developer also has one month to reply so you can request deletion or request your data that they have sent and if you want to contact any application that 
seemingly violates your data principles, you may want to contact them directly. So you can directly contact the developer, Google or the officials. All in all, this is an application that will make you a hell of a lot more aware of which applications on your phone are contacting different companies, which application are keeping your data and more so selling your data. I think again, this is an application that all phones should come pre-built with. So yeah, definitely check it out. It will be linked below. With that said guys, next up we've got the recording application from Google. Now this is Google stock recorder that can be found on all Pixel devices, but surprisingly enough, you cannot download it on your Android device directly from the Google Play Store if it's not a pixel device that being said you can download this from the link in the description below now this exact version of google's recorder allows you to transcribe different recordings which basically means you know what instead of telling it to you guys i'm going to explain it to you guys and show it to you guys this is a test of how transcription works within google's stock recorder as you can see as soon as i switch to the transcript section whatever is being recorded is also being recorded as text on the top side of the screen now how will this help you let me show you once you stop the recording and save it let's just search for a test and basically what you're going to find is the new recording that you have here so over here basically you can search for recordings using any word that you remember from that recording so if you're a person who has a lot of recordings who uses a lot of voice memos on their phone this is a great application because this will let you sort them out find them out a lot quicker and honestly it's such a simple thing but once you start using it you realize the genius of it i think all voice memo applications should have this option but then again we can do it on our android phones as well using this version of google recorder link in the description let's move on to the next one well guys last but definitely not the least we've got high shoot to i and this is basically a screenshot application on steroids meaning you see all those perfect mock-ups and layouts that take hours to make on photoshop just to post a screenshot of your phone inside this well high shoot to i you know simplifies all of that for you if you want to create good looking screenshot images either to share on twitter or for your own application or just basically for the fun of it well this is the application you should definitely try out once you install it there's a telegram channel that i highly recommend all of you join which will have a list of all the new templates that you can import in this app once you've imported the template from the template section all you have to do is click over here select the screenshot that you want to select for example i've just took a screenshot of the home screen setup and there you Go. the screenshot fits perfectly inside this template then you can save it share it wherever you want actually came to know about this from how to men's video on this topic a couple of months back which i recently watched and honestly i was blown away i had no idea an application like this exists huge shout out to him for recommending that that's how i came to know about it but in case you guys still haven't tried it out definitely check it out it will be linked below and with that said guys that wraps up today's list of once again Android applications not on the Play Store, but are ones that you should definitely try out because they are really, really amazing. Hopefully this video interested you guys. If you guys did find an application to use, let me know in the comments below. I read all of them and I love hearing your opinion on the apps that we recommend here. With that said, this is Arnav signing out. I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, you guys have a great day. Stay safe, stay awesome and peace out.